Okay. Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay. Yes, I am home. And thankfully, kind of sad. But, sort of kind of mad right now. A little bit. And, uh, I guess I'm going to have to explain. I, despite that I am home, and I'm starting to miss my, well, my step-grand-cousin Elena, uh, you know, she was way worse than before. And I'm kind of mad about this. And I don't know whose fault I should blame it on. But that's for another video that I will go on if I feel like it. Anyway, now besides that, I want to get through a few things to talk about. First, I wanted to talk to you guys about is, well, for starters, um, I know that this weekend it's going to get crazy, despite, despite what's going on, you know, uh, Sunday is the Halloween parade. That it take place in front of my home, and because it always goes past by. But the one thing that just drives me nuts is that um, my uh, my mother. I know this is gonna be weird. Um, my mother is really. He does not like about Halloween. And even though I really like to feel like to celebrate this. Now, despite of what happened during the whole entire uh, week we were in Florida. Which, I promise you guys that I will have, um, I will make sure that my video that I had recorded when I was down in Florida will be available on Thanksgiving. Um... But, anyway, uh, there are a lot of other things that I could talk about. Like, for instance, um, you know, some stuff. But I'm going to promise you guys that I'm going to continue on playing more of the games. And I'm going to be playing PewDiePie's uh, Tube Simulator because I want to check out the, the updates. It's too hollow of the Halloween, even though I don't know when that will be. I'll probably do it right after I do this video. And on top of that, I'm going to also do is, I think tomorrow, because before I'm going to go play um, Minecraft Story Mode, I'm going to go and try to download Jordan's new song that he had played in the... And uh, he uploaded on his on his music channel, oh, which you guys can check out. Cause I'll leave his video in the script. I'll leave the video link in the description, cause you guys can listen to it. Even though I'm gonna go download it, cause I'm gonna put that in, I guess, for Minecraft Story Mode. Now, the now I also want to talk about the one important detail I want to talk to you guys about besides that I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos the one thing that actually has been searching around my uh, uh, my Twitter feed when I was still in Florida is that I find out something really crazy going on I'm sorry I'm using my camera to clean up my eyes but and my glasses are still going to make it glary. And because it's also showing the dirt. Anyway. Uh, what's going on is that. I find out that. Uh, um, that there is something going on. And there are a few things that are brought in, in, are bringing up to my attention. One of them is the fact of this. 
website, which is mostly, I feel, it's actually news, called um, Flow Slam. And I find out uh, that I just checked into the website, and as I know, it just only does news, and they claim membership. But then I find out that Daddy is behind this. And I'm thinking, oh, dear Lord, is this like an extension to their network? Because I refuse. And there's no explanation whatsoever about this. Because I only can find this out through my phone. Um, because I don't have access to a laptop because my brother left his laptop in Delaware again. And I could not use my uncle's or my mother's because they'll think I'm nuts. And my mother has her work stuff on there. So, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to check this out. I'll display it. I'm going to have to have some coffee before I can. Now, the other thing I will do is... The other thing I also want to talk to you guys is about the lawsuit that I find out from Billy, that Billy Corgan is suing Fat Wrestling. There's an article, I may well link to this, an article from Rolling Stone magazine website, links that I will link. It talks about what's going on with the lawsuit and they because of a survey however they have not mentioned about flow slam and um, which i feel this is like a little bit of espn and sports illustrated but they claim they will have videos from evolve wrestling and i feel like now like this is ton of BS because I mean because I have I really like Evolve Wrestling even though I am missing a, a DVD from them um and I don't know how and I try and I contact them two times and after finding out about this through well mostly from G Gabe Spolowski who is the responsible for all of Evolve and WWE and and I'm kind of pissed. I know I shouldn't be cursing, but yes, I'm kind of pissed about this. Now, why does this lawsuit that Billy Corgan is doing to t towards uh, Dixie Carter, why is this being involved? Well, here's the thing. <sighs> Despite of what's going on with... um. Oh, what happened? I think there's a reason why Billy Corgan may stop this. That I don't think Rolling Stone had figured this out. Well, and what I'm just saying is, I don't. I think what's going on is because there's not just TNA wrestling's being involved, but also Ring of Honor. I think they may ended up on Flow Slam them as well. But I think Billy Corgan is doing the right thing is to try to protect TNA wrestling and and, and to stop this his this um selling to uh to WWE and a land into flow slam because it's wrong. wrong. In fact I don't know who else besides of all besides the WWE and let right because I feel this is 100% bull bullshit coming through. Oh. And I think maybe if this is true, I hope Billy Corgan do the right thing. And I think, he, think everybody should follow Billy Corgan's lead aid and not to end it up falling into the hands of somebody who, who could not keep I'm going to have to say this. Who cannot keep Coco Cabana and Chris Hero on their roster. Because they were in what? They had nothing for them? Or because they were not the way how they are? Or they're not what you they need or something like that. Or is it the... And not to mention, 
And after they toughen a fiasco, oh my god, god, are you kidding me? They don't, there are a lot of indie wrestlers, real wrestlers, who have broken, who has been wrestling for most of their career. They don't get chosen, but some model, or some former athlete, or some bodybuilder gets in gets onto this and it ends up being to a total disaster. Are you kidding me? Like you know you know, for for once, I think this is time for a revolution and to show that why we, the fans of professional wrestling, need to understand that Tay cannot do what they did. Sure, they weaseled taking AJ Styles or Kevin Steen or even Claudio Castagnoli, but they have nothing much for either of them. them. Can't get them to great matches. So what they do, bring back Goldberg. No offense to Bill Goldberg. I thought he... I thought he ne- swore he would never get involved with that again. Yet he shows up. Up... I mean, what the crap is going on? Are you trying to rebuild the 90s? He's... Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is stupid. Ed, I mean... You had... Not to make... You know, this is ridiculous. I mean... Even though I have not been watching TNA Wrestling... And I... In, well, let me explain. I haven't watched TNA Wrestling in months since January of this year because Comcast screwed that one up. Up, And then, of course, I haven't watched WWE three years since the way how they treated Chris Hero. And, and God forbid if he sees this, is even though he'd probably be mad, but I... I care for that guy too much. And even though right now, he over at AAW, All American Wrestling, they're treating him like the freaking legend he needs to be. The only thing that is holding him um, um, and becoming the freaking AAW Championship is another freaking legendary named Sammy Callahan. You gonna, you know, their 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 show, the uh, Windy City Classic, is going to dominate. That's how you put on a freaking show with two great guys right, who are the best in 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 Ohio. Go at it, at and, and they at least they don't end up dressing up like ridiculous this characters or something like that and henceforth of The Miz and Dolph Ziggler. You guys can find out what I'm talking about. Believe me. They, they are not the best of as as Ohio has as Sammy Callahan and Chris Hero are. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm going crazy. Oy, but it's true. Oh. Ooh. Believe me on this. <sighs> anyway, that is not the only thing that is going on. Uh, I know that a lot of people are. I know this that some uh, uh, people I follow on Twitter are like, uh, I guess, we'll see, skits. He's really upset because. Um, it's because. There has not been, I guess, much of PWG since, I guess, since Battle of Los Angeles. This, but he th- wishes there's more. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping there will be. But as long as there are a lot of things going on, you know, it's ridiculous. But... From what I'm just saying in the arguments and stuff before you guys come here and just say, Oh no, Amy Rich is bad. Or any other than John Cena. Please, don't go there. I mean, 
they had just been what? Entertaining you guys? I'm different. I need the coolness. I need awesomeness. And I don't mean because of the Miz. <laughs> I mean, there's more than just as just these people. There are real wrestlers. And I don't mean like guys like AJ Styles, Kevin Steen, and uh, Claudio Castanoli, John Moxley, Tyler Black, like, um, who else? Oh, yeah, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, uh, Virgil Devitt, Rebecca, what's she, I, yeah, Rebecca Knox, I'm trying to think her name, <laughs> Mercedes KV, Davina Rose, oh my god, how many other na any names I can think of, I'm not referring to their dirty names, cause that's stupid, well, except for AJ and Anderson and, well, Gal has been known that in his, and well, forgive me <laughs> but and of course I can't for and like not to mention others like including like, TJ Perkins and Drew Gulak Lince Dorado man <laughs> these guys go all, all around there and, and go butts in their butts every weekend and and you know what? And there's somebody else who knows that. And that's that soon to be daddy, Brian Danielson. With he then he knocked up his wife. Good lord. But you guys have to understand. And, you know, it's ridiculous. And how a lot of people are very angry about this. Yes. And for all understanding of what's going on, there is one thing they ain't that everybody needs to understand. You know, you're tr you're living into you're living into something that is going to end badly. You know, there are a lot of people who are out there trying to you know. Become the next ex ex champion because of training schools, proper training schools, independent promotions. I mean, for instance, I just recently saw. I guess a couple. I don't know if it was this recently or day before, but I just saw Gregory Iron offering and a couple of young guys. Is and gals to you know go to um uh, you know go to not to go to a couple of indie shows to get them onto the um expanding from where they are wrestling and and then of course we have i w m itself they just and they just uh announced on their twitter account that they have the youngest just the youngest wrestler, who's actually 15 years old, is going to be taken this year's uh, Ted Petty Invitational. And, and and this 15 year old is going up to the likeness of guys who has been there from from who probably at least 40 years older than this kid. Do well, I hate to say this. The one who is about 20 years older. <laughs> and I mean it. Well. <laughs> and yeah. It's taking place next. Uh, next weekend. I th and believe me. <laughs> I mean yeah. I mean he's this kid's probably going up against. Those who are, for, who are at least probably. Four years older than he is. I don't know. I don't know the kid's name, but I'll look into it. But I'm saying he could be going up against someone who's four years older to him, to somebody who is at least twenty years older than him. And I'm referencing, and I'm referring to 
the ooh, Chris Hero. Sheesh. <laughs> yes, I know this is weird, but I do know how old he is, and it's not just because of his, not just because, not because of his Twitter profile, because that stinker says that he's born December 24th. Yeah, he just forgot the rest of the details because that stinker left the clue on the freaking Art of Wrestler with Coco Panda. Episode 199 if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> Ooh, I just thrown Chris underneath the bus. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean that. That Lindsay. <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah, and the other thing I want to also talk to you guys about is that, um, I guess I should also talk to you guys about, uh, some other things. Now, I think I mentioned this earlier, as I did, but if I forget, I'll explain. Now, this weekend is, besides the pro wrestling link is going down, there's also, um, there's also the parade, and that always happens every year. And despite I'm really kind of mad about this, that hell, every Halloween parade does not do well because of one, um, because of one, and I mean it's one, um, one act, I guess you can say, comes in really late. And I don't know how that goes. So, I will try to record it. I'll record a little bit, but I'll probably record it until it's up to those who were supposed to be here, because otherwise that would be it. It. But, anyway... So anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else did I talk about? Hmm. Yeah, I think I also mentioned I'm going to be checking out PewDiePie. Hey, the updates on the PewDiePie game. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow or sometime during this weekend or probably during next week is I gotta go and check out my I need to go to Samsung because this wire I believe it's this wire is really really not being properly charging my phone oh jeez I guess I gotta go check out IWMA I need to check out IWMA itself it's um Tweets. I don't know who Chris is going to be wrestling. <laughs> so, anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I may have to go check that out. Um. So, yeah. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What else? Oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> There's one other thing I, I want you guys to check out. Um, I guess I want you guys to go and check out um, uh, Random Encounters. They just had recently posted on their YouTube channel uh, a music video or sort of musical uh, called Five Nights of Freddy's A Sister Location. And with the song called Blood and Tears. Um, let me tell you a little bit about it. The, 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 um, it's supposed to be taking place, I guess, prior to the, to the beginning of the musical, or well, uh, they had done Five Nights at Freddy's. And in the video, I can see, is Miss Bird, or Sparrow Rain, whatever you want to prefer to call her, um, is just, uh, is, a uh, baby, a, um, if you guys check, if you guys ever played the sister location, and I know, I just had saw, uh, Captain Sparkles play in it, 
I was like, you guys you probably questioned me and saying, Lindsay, why is Captain Sparkles playing Five Nights at Freddy's? Well, he actually did play that. And he had played some Minecraft versions of Five Nights at Freddy's. And I think somebody also did too. And I think it was, uh, I think Sunday did. But you guys can check that out as well. Um, but anyway, but, um, a little bit about this is that, um, besides that, I've known that, that, uh, uh, Sparrow Rain is baby, which reveals that throughout the whole entire song, it reveals that baby wants to be, I guess, human? I'm not sure. Right, but if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the video in the link. Though their channel from their video oh it's linking to another video which is actually Five Nights of Freddy's the musical which is really kinda of crazy. Um you guys can check that out <laughs> too. Oh um it has a lot of oh, views on that one, but the one that I, and uh that would lead to the music to the big musical um that's that starts uh spare rain as baby um last thing i check it's about eighty eight thousand uh views so you guys can check that out who the heck is she in the bathroom okay so anyway so i'll leave i'll leave the Article, uh, so I guess I have to remind myself. The article of, um, article link, link of the article about, uh, the lawsuit going on between Billy Corgan and against TNA Wrestling. Well, the people who are currently in control of it. And, of course, I'll also link in, uh, Random Encounters musical of Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, that's it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!